The title of the work is When the Inside is Outside and Under is Above. My name is Jason Lim and I'm from Singapore. I'm an artist using clay and also performance art as my main practice. I'll be using two and a half tons of clay to create an installation work. Laying the ground, we we'll probably use about 100 over kilograms of clay. The rest of the two tons of clay are extruded into coils and individual coils are laid around the boundary of the clay platform and that becomes my clay supply for the next five days. I started making sketches about the work two years ago and the image of it has been evolving. The two days of prepping the space when I get the chance to actually walk around the clay platform that I start to have a bit more of a solid idea of what I want to make. Working with clay is a very tactile experience. I really love the sound that it makes when I squish it, the crunchiness. It feels cold, it's soft enough and malleable enough, but still quite a rough texture, which allows me to build something of this scale. Working with clay for me is an interesting medium because whatever I'm thinking in my head, it just goes through my arm to my hand and then to the clay. The clay will pick up all the emotions that the maker has because it's a very direct transmission of emotion and thoughts into the clay surface. I was so amazed by the breadth of his practice because he not only does this really amazing long-form performance works on a grand scale, which is something I'd never seen before, but he also has an extraordinary studio practice. I find that really interesting that somebody can work on both these scales and always have a very interesting genesis. Australia is really interesting in that it's a, an enormous country with the longest continuing civilization on earth and also a tiny population made up many, many cultures from around the world and particularly around this Indian Ocean Rim. And there's a great big mix of all sorts of people, all sorts of cultures and backgrounds that we'd love to learn more about. I see nature not only in terms of just fauna and flora, I see nature in a more ecological way. In that sense, it makes us all connected to everything. In recent years, I've been looking at the landscape in Australia, and I find that the termites and ants' nests very fascinating. What we see in the termites' nest is just what's above the surface. I'm interested to see what has going on underneath the surface. The main challenge when I work with clay is more of a collaboration with the material, that we have to listen to each other, because clay can be quite unforgiving. So if, if things are not joined properly, then they will tell when it dries. I think that adds on to the tension that's created by the nature of that material itself. The joints has come apart, but it's still holding up the whole structure. I have a bit of an incident yesterday where certain parts of it collapsed because the clay was too soft and too much weight on it. I guess it's more about trying to get it in the right timing, to be patient with the clay, because I have to wait for the clay, the clay doesn't wait for me. Standing on clay barefooted and working with bare hands makes me feel grounded in the sense that I'm very close to this natural materials that forms part of the foundation of our world. Wearing white for me is creating the awareness of when I'm in that performance space. I have to be more controlled with my movement. The rhythm of the building of the work become meditative and then that helps me to focus on what I'm doing. I see a open studio situation where audience will come and witness the work in the making. Once I step into the clay platform, I have to be conscious that there will be sometimes people looking at what I'm doing. It can be a distraction, but at the same time, I think it's 
a really nice thing for people to witness and artists at work. A lot of time we don't see what goes behind the making of an artwork. I try to bring what is underneath, above ground, and what is inside of those nests to bring it to the outside.